Hello, grade six, and welcome to this week's breakdown. So I have three announcements for this week. The first announcement is that we are going to have a lab class this week, and I just wanted to inform you that you have to get your lab coats. So if you forget your lab coats, you won't be able to attend the lab class, and you won't be able to do the experiment with your classmates. So please don't forget your lab coats. As for the second announcement, is that we are going to have your post test during this week, and the third announcement is that we are going to have the parent teacher conference this week. I'm very excited to see your parents again and to talk about the progress that you have made through the first term in science. As for the lesson for this week, we are going to start a new lesson, kinetic energy and potential energy. So now that we talked, last week we talked about energy, motion, force and work. And now we are going to talk about specific types of energy, starting off with kinetic energy. And kinetic energy is the type of energy that is related to the motion. So it has to have two factors affecting it, such as mass and speed. This is regarding kinetic energy. As for the potential energy, it is the energy that is stored in a uh, in an object at a specific height. So it's something that is stored in an object. So we call this potential energy. That these types of energy can be transformed. So kinetic energy can transform into potential and the potential energy can be transformed into kinetic energy. And then we are going to take a deeper look at the types of potential energy, starting with the first type of potential energy, which is elastic potential energy. It is the type of energy that is stored in rubber bands, springs, trampolines, and arrow drawn to a bow. So this is called elastic potential energy. And then we are going to talk about the second part of potential energy, which is gravitational potential energy. It is the energy stored in an object, result of its vertical position or height. So it is stored in an object as a result of gravitational pull of Earth. So in this lesson, we are going to focus on the kinetic energy and potential energy and the two types of potential energy, elastic and gravitational. And as usual, we are going to be using interactive websites to read articles and using the BC for uh, fun and interactive activities and we will use quizzes to assess ourselves using online quizzes and that is it for this week thank you so much sixth grade